Hey guys, um, Productions by the House here, and this is um, another Final Cut Pro X uh, tutorial, and this is going to be on uh, multi-camming. If you don't know what that is, if you've ever seen one of those featured films, for example, um, Paranormal Activity videos, um, kind of like that, except that um, all the cameras are in the exact same room. They're in the exact same room. Um, and um, they're all catching the uh, the same audio, so like the audio is like right on top of each other, but it's practically like um how do I put this? Multiple security cameras in the same room, like that. So let's just go ahead and get um right into it. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Um, it's a little bit hazily today. Have no idea why. <clears throat> but um. Uh, I just wanted to get this video through for you guys. Um, so right here, um, this is camera one, camera two, camera three, and camera four. So these are all my cameras um, in that same room catching the exact same audio. Now they did not turn on at the exact same time, which is why... Um, you have to line up the audio, but luckily about this, it'll do it for you. Just by click here, hold shift to go to your last camera, which is bam. Oh, sorry about that. Don't know how. Oh, holding caps lock. Duh. Okay. Click there. Now right click, and then click on new multicam right here. Clip. Uh, name it whatever you want. Um. Uh, yeah, just name it whatever you want right there. Oh, yeah, now I just press OK. But um, once you press OK, I've already made mine right here. Once you press OK, it'll say synchronizing clips. Um, just uh, let it go, and then a new clip will pop up. It'll look like this. It'll have, like, the, the squares right here. Now, you're only going to see one video because it's taking your largest clip. Which, for example, the first camera you turned on, it's going to be using that one. First camera you turn on. So, that's what you're going to be seeing. And now, just press um, W to end, um, put it into your timeline here. Um, okay. Then, it'll still only be showing one. No problem. Go up to this little switch thing. Go to show angle viewer. So bam, has all your cameras here. These have not been turned on yet, which is why. Yeah. Now the default settings are going to be right here, but what you want is you're going to want it right here. You're going to want your largest clip to have the audio, because then it's not muted for part of the time. Well, so this is. This means it's going to keep the audio. For this clip, when you're switching to the video to other clips, I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So let's just go ahead and skim through here quickly. Um, if you'd rather not do this, you can, you know, play through it. But I'm um, just doing this quickly. So I turn on my Kodak here. So you make sure you have this selected, this icon selected. So stay the audio here. Simply click right here. Or press one to switch to that, and um, not what I wanted. That all right? So you want to select it, and you want to click on this clip, and then you want to click here, and then click on this one. So then the audio stays here. Sorry about that, guys. I made a mistake. So that's what you want. So you just. Alright, so I got my Kodak up, got this, walking around, soon enough I'm going to be turning on one of these cameras, at least so. Okay. Then you can switch back yeah. to this. 
It's okay, it'll show up like that. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Switch back there. It might be a little edgy. What I mean by edgy is I mean it may have a little bit of lag as you're switching from camera to camera. That's probably because it didn't render all... Oh, oh it did render all the way. Okay. But when you first insert it in there, it usually doesn't render that fast. So just go ahead and quickly skim through here, turn on this camera. Shabam! Switch to that one. This is going to be the final product. It shows you right here. And then keep going, keep going. Shabam! Next one right here. Now, here's me making a stupid face. Okay, now switch. Shabam! Camera. It's a lot of fun. You can just keep watching through it. And just keep switching from camera to camera. It's actually a lot of fun editing it. But, um... This is as far as I'm going to go right here, just for time's sake. Pretty sure you guys don't want to be spending, like, 12 minutes watching me edit this video. And switch from camera to camera. So, <clears throat> after that is done, you can, um, let's, let's just, uh, get out of here for a second. Let's just minimize it. Okay, out of here. Alright, now... Uh, I had a different one right here, a different video, but here is uh, another multi-cam clip video I made. So delicioso, so delicioso, am I right? <laughs> In the turn where I was born, lived the man who sailed to sea. And he told us his life in the land. Somewhere right now, it's really good song to sing here. Headphones, gotta bring my headphones. Can't forget about my headphones here. And yeah, now as you can see right there, that was um multicamming practically right there. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully I can get to you later.